Well, hello there, YouTube. Chilling with Twisted here. And today, we're taking a look at a new purchase. After almost four years, I upgraded my gaming laptop. I had an Asus ROG Strix with a GTX 1070 in it. I had an i7-7700. Anyway, I found this guy open box on Best Buy for $1,199. And it sells for $1,499 full price on there. And I had to grab it. I had to grab it. It was a really good price and it was, it was time for an upgrade. So I went from a 1070 to a 3070. Now I've seen this Asus Tough F15 Dash catch some flack. The 3060 model is the only one I've really seen up. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I haven't really seen any videos on this 3070. Okay? So yeah, this one's the one 240 hertz stuff. And you guys know, you can look up the parts. You know, it's got a port here. It doesn't have RGB keyboard. It only turns this teal color. That's all fine. I don't care about any of that. I'm just here to show you some pure gaming stuff. No benchmarks, none of that. And I'm going to show you how loud the fan gets, all right? Yeah, for $11.99, I think this is a really good deal. Now, everybody was harping on it because it has the new 11th gen i7 4 core 8 thread. And I was looking around. I was like, oh, okay. I can see you got Ryzen's and eight six core eight core intels but i came from a four core eight thread intel so this wasn't a super big deal but anyway you got a few different profiles here for different fan speeds and performance uh turbo is the best and that's what i usually use you can still do pretty good on performance but turbo gets the loudest and that's how we're going to play it um what oh, you can already hear the fans kicking up yeah that's how we're going to play it so you guys can get a pure audio experience of what this thing sounds like and what kind of frames it can get on a few games okay nothing too crazy really simple we got MSI afterburner running we're gonna run this at turbo and yeah we're just gonna play a few games I'm gonna show you the performance of this what 80 85 watt uh, 3070 laptop variant uh, GPU can do and for me it's still really good okay it's still really good I will say the fans do get pretty loud that's the only complaint and coming from my last laptop these speakers are nowhere near as good. They're not that great. But anyway, I think we'll get started with some Rocket League. I'm just going to hook up an Xbox controller to make all of this easier. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what kind of frames we get and play a few games. And that's really all we're going to do. Nothing super technical here. I just uh, This is the kind of video I wanted to see before I got this. So that's what we're going to do. Rocket League, Apex, Cyberpunk, all the good games. So yeah, we're just going to go through here and have a good time. So let's party. All right, folks, let's get this thing started with some Rocket League. One of my favorite games to play on my laptop when I'm chilling with the wife, watching some shows or something. So, um, you can already, there you go, you can start to hear the fans kick up a little bit. We are in tur turbo mode, so we're trying to look at a uh, best case scenario here. But we'll just hop in here, play. As you can see, pretty good performance. This is a 1080p, all high settings. Damn it, we just got scored on. Oh, oh yeah, the fans. The fans are at full, uh, full sound here. But as you can see, we're staying above 200 FPS for the most part. Uh, touching on 250 here and there, so not too bad, not too bad. And the screen looks pretty good. Colors are nice. But yeah, that fan is a kicking. Dropping below 200 a little bit there. That's so hard. I'll keep trying to watch the game through the viewfinder, and that's just not ideal. Not ideal at all. Alright, folks, time for a little cyberpunk action. We want to really make this thing sweat. Oh, yeah, it's already nighttime. Really good scene here, actually. I forget what my settings are last, but let's see. So, we got a custom mix. Of mostly high and ultra ray tracing ultra DLSS is quality all ray tracing is on all right so yeah this is pretty uh pretty demanding one could argue still looks really good we're sitting what 45 44 probably drop down into the 30s there it is Looks nice though. Looks really nice. So let's uh, let's just say we do something like said DLSS the quality or performance. 
set ray tracing lighting to medium and I think we can leave everything else alone let's try that really I mean we were doing pretty good oh shit <laughs> we were doing pretty good with everything on who raises right seems like it might be a little, I don't know, a little bit more stable maybe. Alright folks, time for a little Doom Eternal. I don't even remember what I had all this set to, but I think it's all high settings. Yeah, it's all high. Okay, cool. Running really smooth. FPSs are all over the place. Yep, I'm running low on stuff. I need help. Alright, how about a little Apex Legends action? And uh, once again, everything should be pretty much maxed. Oh no, I had everything set to low. Alright, well let's max it all out. Looks like we're finally getting in a fight, y'all. See if we get any kind of crazy FPS drops. Come on in. Old pain is just waiting. Well, the last one we're going to do is Warzone, and you can really hear that fan. It fluctuates a bit, but it's, uh, it's, it's audible. <laughs> it's damn audible. Okay, winding down. Alright people, before we get to the outro, I just want to let you know I recorded the beginning and the ending before I had to come back and re-record this. I have already, uh, I'm sending this one back and I upgraded to the new HP Omen with the 3070. It's a 100 watt 3070 and a better processor, 300 hertz, screen, a few other things. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get that one. But hey, at least I got a video up on this thing. So anyway, you guys can see the ending now. Alright people, so there you have it. Just a little bit of testing, messing around, nothing too crazy. Uh, 
that was everything set to high on all these games. Let me know if you want to see a video maybe with everything set to low, or uh, maybe you'd be interested in some emulation on this thing. I can tell you, it's going to emulate everything. We got PS3, all the stuff. We even uh, have been emulating and running HDMI to my TV to play a little Nintendo Switch. Oh, yeah. Super Mario, all the stuff. All the stuff. But yeah, that's all I got for now. Appreciate you guys watching. And I hope this helps somebody because a video like this would have helped me while I was on the fence and searching for a new upgrade. But until next time, y'all stay sexy out there. I am out.